I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is from one of my viewers who goes by the name J.R. I'm trying to pronounce the last name correctly. I'm going to just spell it. Capital Y. E E T. The request was for me to make a video exposing the skankness of women. Thank you so much for your patience. I haven't forgot. Just been real, real busy to make sure to put the video together the way you requested it. Let's get started. Shout outs to everyone for all your support, whether it's viewing, putting your comments, subscribing, donation, everything. Thank you so much. And I wouldn't be able to do any of this with you. Excuse me. I wouldn't be able to do any of it. Without your help, I would be nothing. Let's get started. Okay. Exposing. The skankiness of women. What I've learned about them is there really isn't anything that they won't do to get what they want from you in a way where you don't even know you're getting ripped off. Because if you don't know that you're getting ripped off, What alert will go off in your brain to practice some type of defense? And that's usually how women roll. There's nothing she won't do if she can get away with it. Meaning, having sex with your best friend while you're at work. Now, you have not said or did anything to provoke her to do something like that. Maybe your best friend uh, was talking to you and while she was uh, over in the kitchen cooking some food over her that he hit for $25,000 at the casino. He just happened to say that he's going to be off a few days from now. And she looked at that day that you're going to be at work. Oh, yeah. She's going to try to ride down on him. Give him something that he can feel. You know what I mean? And go and give them some sob story that her grandmother's about to die. But she can be saved if she can just put down $2,000 on the operation or a certain type of medication that the insurance won't cover. Being the nice guy he is, he give it to her. And you don't know nothing about it. Now, is that skanky? Or being nice? clean and peaceful. Uh -uh, uh -uh. The late prince said it may rest in peace. What did he say? Being good was such a bore. See, a lot of times the reason why women enjoy being skanky is because they're good at it. You know, going around on purpose and conning people into getting insurance policies and putting their name down to be the beneficiary while this person is about to die. Just straight skinky, you know? Or sleeping with all the men in your family, behind your back. Or she knew she had sex with another guy without a condom and gonna lie and tell you this is your baby. I would watch the things that my mother would I would listen to the things that my mother would tell my sisters to do to a guy. The guy hadn't did anything. They just was, you know, you know, fellas, when you, you know, that special one got your heart running super, super hot, like a high power engine. No, oh, go and get him, get him for the ring. And then turn around, lie and say that you lost it and go pawn it and put the money in your pocket. Yeah. Just real, you know, skanky stuff. 
Or um, what else I've seen them do? My mother would do this. She would lie to us and tell us that the water about to get turned off and she all need $100 from us and then turn around while we at work and go down to uh, certain areas that would help you out on your bills and get them to pay it and pocket it. No, fellas, is that nice or skanky? Skanky. Skankness. Or just turn around and uh, make you think that you're that special guy. And really, it's to get all she can get out of you over a long term period. See, I learned skankiness with women. Women don't marry for love. They marry for what she can get out of you. Hell with love. But, she, but, but in order for it to work, she got to make you think that you done fell in love with the right person and that she loves you too. And how did she blind you? Good sex. Right? You know, she might cook you, she might cook you dinner. She might run that bath water for you. She might, depending on if the numbers are great enough to get it out of you. And then turn around, file for divorce, and take everything. You'd be well, honey, well, what? What did I do? What, 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 what? I just don't think that you're the person that you promised to be. What, what are you talking about? Skankness. You know? Or letting all your best friends run a train on her while you at work or while you went out of town to go to her funeral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't seen it all. That's the only thing about growing up in the hood. You, you see a lot of things that women do that is just nothing but just skankness. Skanky. Skanky. I can't stand that guy. And that's the one that she is in the bed with. Why you at work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I always say. Don't trust women, but trust them to be themselves. And you will catch her every time. Or you can tell a lot by a woman just by how she dress. Oh, no, I don't be all like that. Okay, well, why you got on those super, super, super tight jeans to show the shape of your vagina and the shape of your butt? Oh, but you uh, said that you ain't no, uh, you, you're not thinking about turning the trick if the money ain't right. That don't sound true to me. Fellas, ain't that skanky? Yes. You want to learn how, 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 aunt, faithful, a liar, watch women. They're good at it. Because I, I said, well, let's let's look at it here. I said, well, if you was a woman, would you behave? Now, this might sound like a contradiction. You know what my answer was? Hell no. But you know why I asked myself that question? To be able to detect their skankness faster. Because detecting a woman's skankness faster can always save a man's life because she's that good and that quick. But see, now they're starting to hit a wall because I'm so thankful for the Internet. Because the Internet will get you faster. See, she can't outrun the Internet. She can't. That's like a turtle trying to catch a cheetah. Y'all know that ain't going to even happen. That's the internet for us. Because I'm like, okay, you know what? I understand you down with being skanky. Okay. Because I had to ask myself, if I was a woman and I looked like that and had what you had and smelled the way you could smell all them different times of doing the month, would I behave? Hell to the nizzle. All right. Okay. But again, here is where a lot of times they skankness backfired. And you know how it does? See, when we as men get older, if we take care of ourselves and keep some money, we always are going to get approached by women. But when a woman gets older and she's been skanky most of the time, getting old is a bitch. And that's how she ends up paying for it against her will, whether she wants to or not. See, the thing about women being skanky how it works against her too is being that way 
without being provoked. That's how she loses in the end. She pays for it. That's how she loses in the end. She's not provoked to be skanky. She just does because she pretty much knows she can get away with it for a time. Why? Well, look at her. Pretty eyes. Pretty face. Long hair. Smell good. As she grow into womanhood, she develop breasts, right? Her menstruation kicks in, right? She starts to fell out more, right? We all know where this is going. He don't know I ain't going to behave. <laughs> That's what she said, right? But again, she already hung herself because she go after innocent people that ain't did nothing for it. And that's how she paid for it in the long run. How? Here's another way. She dogged you, right? Ripped you off, skank, funk, everything. 25 years and went by. Well, let's go with 35 years. And you see her. She all used up. How you doing? Can I talk to you? Look, I know that I was wrong and all that stuff I did. Can you give me that? Because mm -mm, you're still skanky. See? But all her men has left. She didn't hit the wall. The phone Ben stop ringing. Nobody want her. Titties are sagging. See? You want to come back to the person that tried to do her right in the first place and she just chewed up like a shark. So, tune in for part two of the request from JR, capital Y, E-E-T, of me exposing the skankness of women. Don't you go anywhere.